as you snuggle down, snuggling right deep down into your covers. So if you need to take a yawn or a sigh or wiggle anything to get yourself a little bit more comfortable. Bless you. <coughs> you might need to shuffle your your covers and get that teddy so that you're nice and snuggled up. With your teddies. With your teddies. <coughs> you can just feel your body as we start this practice of yoga nidra. Just feel your body really settled now into the bed. So really settle down. And as you feel your body, you could feel that your hands, both your hands, your left hand and your right hand, are just settled down. And your arms, one side and then the other. And your shoulders, all the way down your back, oh, towards your bottom, your bottom is settled down. Yeah, and your legs, the knees and the thighs, the calves and the ankles, the all calves. of the legs. What calves? The lower part of your leg at the back, they're your calves. And your feet. Lower. The lower, the <coughs> lower, the bottom bit. Your feet, with all of your toes, a big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Oh, so the whole of the legs and the feet and the hands and the arms and the back of the body and the face with the eyes and the nose. And the mouth are all settled down, settled down. And as the body settling a little bit more, as it's settling and resting a little bit more, a little, bit more. a little bit more. You notice a breeze just coming in and out. A bit like your breath. A bit like how your breath just comes in and out. The breeze does that too. Feeling the slightly cool air moving over you like a big breath a wave of air coming in and out and you start to feel a little bit a little bit cold oh a little bit cold and try and snuggle down in your bed a little bit more but it doesn't it doesn't quite feel warm enough it was a little bit cold, a bit icy. So you lift up your head and peer over the bed. And looking around, you spot something in the corner. So you walk over to the corner of the room. There's a little heap of fabric. On that heap of fabric, as you pick it up, slightly sparkles with the moonlight shining into your room. You wonder what on earth is that and as you pick it up and inspect it a little bit closer you see that it's a cloak, a beautiful vibrant purple cloak with glitter all around the top which will be the part that sits around the neck and a giant gold button. So straight away, you put the cloak around you and do up the giant gold button and it feels warm and snugly, so warm around the body, feeling all of the warmth, all of the warmth in this giant cloak. The cloak's all fluffy and snuggly. And then, as you start to pay attention a little bit closer, you start to notice that you're rising up. 
and up, higher and higher. You start to come right up off the floor as if <gasps> you're flying. You're starting to fly. You're so excited. Wow, you've never done this before. And as you start to fly up, you see a little gap in the window. Oh, can I, you think? Will, will this be okay? I'm going to try. You decide to try. And you make your way towards the window, steering yourself using your arms with one arm out on either side, a bit like the wings of the aeroplane, you manage to navigate your way through the window and up higher and higher into the sky, moving up and up and up and up. And as you look around, the night sky is pitch black with a thousand stars twinkling in front of you and a giant full moon radiating her light and her brightness out across the night sky and you fly up and up and up across your village across the town and the cities and the fields and the higher you go the smaller everything becomes underneath you until your house is just a tiny tiny weeny white dot far away in the distance and it feels good to be flying it feels good to be exploring in this night sky you feel protected with your cloak as if this cloak gives you some incredible powers that means anything is possible The longer you fly for, your arms start to ache a little bit and you start to feel that actually it might be time to rest for a little while and just take in this amazing adventure. So as you start to come down, 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 a little higher, a little lower, sorry, down, 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 you see a mountain just in the distance that feels like maybe that will be a good place, a good place to stop. So you make your way down to the edge of the mountain and sit there, resting, taking in what you can see. Because it's so dark, there's not that much you can see, but you can hear the roar of an ocean underneath you. The ocean roaring and the wind blowing your hair all around your face but the cloak keeping you snug and safe. Sit there for a while. But the longer you sit there, it starts to feel a little bit chillier. A little bit chilly. And as you get up to walk around, wondering what might be a good thing to do now to warm you up or where to go next, you can see a light flickering a little further along the mountain and you start to follow that light and as you get closer and closer the light gets bigger and stronger and brighter until you find a big roaring fire and as you get to that fire you see someone very special sitting there. That very special person has been waiting for you and they have a message to tell you. You sit down with that very special being while they tell you the message and soaking that message deep inside so that you remember every word. You listen carefully and look and feel all that they have to say. You thank the person once they've given you a message. You thank them with all your heart and you start back on your journey.
moving away from the fire, back to the top of the mountain. And then he starts to fly back, back towards home. As you fly over fields and rivers, lakes and streams, fly over houses, bungalows, all of the cars and the people, all of the animals, and then in the distance you spot your little white house. And you start to descend down towards it, moving slowly and with care, all the way down towards it. It starts to feel like a long way down. In your mind you decide you're going to count how long it takes you. Twenty. Nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You gently come to rest back in your snuggly, warm, cosy bed and it feels a little bit warm with the cloak on there. So you take the cloak off and decide just to hide it under your pillow so that this magical cloak that can protect you and take you anywhere that you always have at your disposal is just where you need it next time. And as you snuggle down in your bed, you remember that, making a promise to yourself to not forget. I have everything I need. I have everything I need. I am safe and protected and have everything I need. And as your eyes start to feel heavy, and you take your final yawn before falling into a deep, peaceful sleep. Good night, my darlings. Rest well.